Welcome back guys, how are you doing? I am done with my saddle. I made a saddle. Here's the back side of it. There's the fabric to it. Um, this band going around, well, let me start out. This is a climbing harness, as you see on the front. Um, of course, I, I used that at first, but it's just so uncomfortable with this band. I got it off of eBay for $17. It has the leg straps in the middle which are connected with a strap, a flexible strap, elastic in the back. Um, but let me see if you, uh, there you, go, you get some kind of an idea. But anyway, I had the waistband, two leg straps, which are clunky metal clips. And then it has the metal waist buckle. So I made, there's the template for the fabric, which is right there. I got that off of Amazon, made the template. Um, the measurements, if you're interested, is 15 inches from the top down to the bottom, 8 inches on your ends, and then across the widest part is 28 inches. I have about a 34 waist, 32, um, so that actually comes up a little bit on the sides. So there's your 8 inches on the sides, both sides. I put a bag on already, I'm sorry, got in the way. Anyway, there it is there. So I outlined the whole thing. This this is the edge here for the eight that's sewn in there. Then this loop right here, which is my lineman loop, is all one piece of that uh, tubular nylon, 3,500 pounds or whatever. It's on the inside and outside, so it's doubled. Um, and that's where I joined. I got one joint there, and then the other joint is over here, so it's staggered, so it's not a weak spot and it's sewn all the way around. And then I came up, I think my loops are, I forget how many inches I did on those 14 to make this lineman loop here. Um, let me get this thing back to normal, there we go. And then I did the loop band around the outside. This is for my climbing sticks. Um, I will spray those. And then I got a piece of paracord on my climbing sticks and I just clip it on there this bag here has my um, lineman rope, which is permanently attached right there. And then in the very front pocket, I made one a tree strap or whatever you want to call it with all the loops in it for going around the tree for my equipment. I like that better than putting the screws in, even though I hunt all private land here in Virginia. Um, I still like that better. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I forgot to take that hook down with me. Plus the time you got to screw it in and all that. I'd rather just throw that around there, get a couple S hooks, hang my pack on there. I got like a little fanny pack that holds all my gear. And then this side is for my other stick. And I put loops here and I didn't go all the way. I mean, almost to the very back. I went to there because I'm not going to reach behind me to grab stuff and all, but that's convenient. I'll probably end up moving him down. I want to put another bag on this side to hold my um, tether, which is, where is it? Let me grab the tether. Here is my tether. I'm doing the Prusik knot, and like you've seen all over the internet or YouTube where you can use the shorter cord, and I just used the metal clip where you can use it one-handed. And I got the one end eyed out. This one's out on the nine inch, nine foot long. So I need a bag for that. So I'll stop at the military store up here. They have used ones for like six bucks, like this style. Um, no Velcro, I use this one. This has a little turn clip to lock it in. The other one I may get might just be a dump bag, uh, ammo dump bag, which has the drawstrings on the top. I'll put that on this side here, just try to hook it into these rings, move this guy to the back a little more. But anyway, that's it. And the fabric was $10, heavy duty nylon. I mean, this stuff is perfect. Um, and I still have, oh my gosh, I got enough to make probably two to three more. Let me see. I'll try to, sorry about this. Let me open it up here. I mean, yeah, I could probably make easily two more out of it. Because that's all I used was from the very front here down to there and over to that edge. I measured eight inches there and then came straight down this way. So I could probably come eight inches off of here and go this way. Yeah, I could make at least three more out of this. And that was 10 bucks off of Amazon, free shipping. There's the size right there. That's what I have left. And then I got plenty of webbing. Um, 
the heavy thick webbing like this i may just cut these legs out because i really don't use them um but on the next one i would use the heavy webbing i have a pile of uh, harnesses safety harnesses that you get from tree stands and that stuff's like seatbelt material you could buy seatbelt material also five yards online on amazon i think it's six bucks and seatbelt material will work fine but this stuff will work just as good i've got so many pieces you know long straps look at see long long straps and i make the waistband and i've got metal buckles left over here's some more buckles here um so i save all that stuff just for that reason anyway that's it just wanted to show you that it can be done and my sewing machine do not this is just a home use sewing machine and it dogs it bad especially when you get into like triple webbing here double and triple like this is doubled and then you go to sew onto the belt that's tripled um it has problems you have to go with heavy duty needle i use nylon thread and bobbin um so it's all nylon it's not regular sewing thread so it will hold up so anyway let me know what you think and i want to do i've got to order some uh what is that uh rope i gotta get that rope i can't think of it right now am steel i want to get am steel and get rid of this this is a doubled up tubing also see i just tied knots in it and i put a stopper right here so that way because that that way it pulls not in the center so i don't have so much pressure around my waist it's more adjustable um it will pull from the bottom more which cups you up under your butt at least for me that's what works for me and i put a stopper on this side also so that's it let me know what you think and that is my belt i probably end up cutting this off i'll try it one or two more times i've been using a screw in steps and a strap on tree stand i've used this a couple times and it is absolutely tremendous i will never go back to a tree stand i'm so comfortable in it and it's so versatile um to use that tree as a blocker between you and the deer and move a move, maneuverability up in a tree is amazing uh, I didn't think I would like it or I wasn't sure, but it is, you know, 100%. If I really use it a lot this year, maybe next year, then I might invest in a $300 or $250 harness, but this one works just fine. And one, if I do cut the leg straps out, it's going to really lighten it up, but there's, I mean, really nothing to it. When you consider I'm carrying around a eight to 10 pound strap on tree stand. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Comment below, hit the like button if you like it. Talk to you later. Bye.